Hi everyone, this is Diana, Diana's Dreams, and I'm, I'm working on my list of videos to do, and, and the next one down is the update on the uh, Section 8 living, that I'm, I'm living here in Section 8 apartment. <clears throat> I'm much better than the last video that I did, where I did the tour, and I was pretty upset. I have talked with um, the people that work here, and I have come to the decision that I, mm, it's, uh, I'm going to wait a while and see how things go, but it's probably going to be not resigning my April leave. Uh, I probably will be moving on by then, be able to be financially able to move on on my own by then. So that's very important. I know that I have children to help me, but I'm not trying to lean on them and already have. And um, in all honesty, I want to pay back my son and his wife for helping me. So um, leaving a abusive marriage and being married to him in less than five years and having 12 surgeries because he got too drunk and caused a motorcycle accident. I uh, decided that I needed to save myself and just leave. So my son came up to uh, Wilmington, Delaware, where I was living with him. And um, when he had gotten a, what is it called? A, like a utility van that didn't have windows. And it was too small for everything I wanted to bring, and I was just, I didn't even know what to unpack to leave behind. And my son said, no, Mom, I'm, we're going to figure this out. Don't worry. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. Right. <clears throat> okay. So we did. He get it with the help of my other son asking this there a hitch on the back of the uh, utility van or should be. Yeah, <laughs> it was there. So we got a U-Haul um, trailer and hitched it back to the back of a, a I guess kind of like an extra long construction van. And I'm telling my son I want to put this stuff in storage when we get down there. He brought it right to his garage and made it fit. And I brought it out in. I, he moved me into the, his nursery room. And they're right now. Bless their hearts, trying to have another. They, I mean, not um, their first. They've had a couple of tries. And it's been really heartbreaking. And um, uh, it's, I, it's a private thing. And I want to keep it a private thing. And I'll know if they know I know <laughs> that, um, but I've kind of gathered with their post what's going on. They're actually um, overseas and deciding to try to his wife's hometown's hospitals instead of here. Understandable for her to want to be in comfort, right? And that's where I am too. I want to be in comfort and uh, if moving on is what I need to do for that, that's fine, right? Um, it's probably a blessing in disguise. And uh, all I'm doing with the people here is telling them my boundaries. Like yesterday when they left, one of them mumbled something and the other one said, yeah, people sure are crazy. <laughs> you can call me crazy. You can call me hostile, you can call me savage, but I'm just an outspoken Native American that's part French. <laughs> I mean, come on. If you have a French Native American woman in front of you, you might want to be more silent. Love y'all. Bye.